outcomes? Well, the gene-diet interaction is otherwise called as the nutrigenetics area of research. A lot of people think that nutrigenetics and nutrigenomics are the same field of research. Mm -hmm. Well, nutrigenetics deals with the study of the impact of DNA sequence variations on chronic disease outcomes in response to diet, whereas nutrigenomics deals with the study of the diet on gene expression. So one is focusing on gene expression, the other one is focusing on gene variations. So it is very much important to understand the difference between nutrigenetics and nutrigenomics. Yeah, that's a very good question. So a lot of people think that the data from nutrigenetic analysis can be used for implementing personalized nutrition at this stage, but actually the answer is no at this point of time. For example, if you take obesity, we have identified genetic variations which have explained only 4% of the total genetic variations for obesity as an outcome. So still 96% of the genetic variation still needs to be explained. So using these 4% of the genetic variations to develop a personalized diet for an individual is completely inappropriate. So definitely we need to identify the remaining genetic variation and we need to understand how the risk of all these genetic variations could contribute to obesity and accordingly how these dietary factors are being modulated in response to their genetic susceptibility. And only then we are in the stage of implementing personalized nutrition.